Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, March 12, 2023. I'm your host, Coco Smooth. And yeah, it's an interesting haul today. Um, I wanted to highlight, let's start with the big one, man. Um, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Uh, I'm going to lower it down for y'all so you can see better. Yeah, this bad boy. I like it. There was just some, well, I don't collect Disney. There's just something about this that just made me go, you know what? I need this in my life. <laughs> There's just something about this one. Um, the way it looks, it just so reminds me of my youth, you know, so much. And yeah, it looks so good. I'm, I'm going to get the soda when it comes. And if I can, I'm going to probably get the regular pop set, but just for this one character, because I think there's just something about him, you know, just does it for me, you know? Hundred uh, Disney one hundred Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, yeah, I like it. Him and his banjo. That's what it looks like with his banjo. It looks really good. I like it. All right, folks. Next up, uh, oldie but kind of goodie. Fry Kids. <laughs> um, yeah, I, it, of my McDonald's set, the only one I'm missing left is the Hamburglar Grimace and Mayor McCheese and Birdie. Um, but as far I got Ronald and I got Officer Mac, I just need Mayor McCheese and the Hamburglar, and I think we'll be good to go. But yeah, it's pretty excited. Two pack set. Yeah, just, just I don't know why I held off on these, but I think I had other priorities at the time, but I knocked it out of the park. All right, next, the Daredevils PX previews exclusive. Um, I like this one because I like Daredevil, and it's this classic look. This pose is good. This uniform is on point. Yeah. This is a win. It's a good look. All red. You all know me about me and red. Yeah. This is my definitive uh, Daredevil pop, Matt Murdock, comic book style. It looks good. The details on the, the body. Yeah. It's a win. And this Billy Club. Yeah. Total win, guys. <clears throat> Next up, the Harley Quinn GameStop exclusive. Um, my only disappointment with this pop is that it has, um, well, I'm going to show it to you guys. It has the paint stains on it, you know? I don't know how paint got in inside there, but, you know, it is what it is. And, that's what's going on. But yeah, other than that, it's a, the box is perfect. The pop is perfect. Yeah, and it looks good. Harley on her deck of cards, you know. So yeah. Next up. All right. Kurapika, the FYE exclusive with red eyes um yeah he was i think he was, he's part of this new wave of thing and i'm they, i'm not sure why they made him an fye exclusive but fye got a lot of pull and said yeah we want our own exclusive we want people to come and buy our pops from here kind of cool um yeah it's got his cross on his hand upside down ish <laughs> kind of weird but yeah, Hunter x Hunter. Kurapika. Next up. <clears throat> Rui from Demon Slayer, the Spider Demon. This is from the newest set. I'm going to do an entire video based on the latest set of um, Demon Slayer Pops, the collection. I think I'm going to wait for a couple more to come in to do a part one uh, Demon Slayer of this year set. But yeah, I love it. Look at the eyes. The eyes are so good. The, the paint on the mask so good. Um, yeah, and he's got his webs in the hands and stuff. Really cool stuff. Really. Yeah, my collection is now complete for this set of the regular, you know, the commons, no chases. Next up, Tanjiro with noodles. Eating his ramen. I guess it's going to be a thing. I have a feeling they're just going to give all of them with food or something one day. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to all have food. 
them eating and stuff. But yeah, tanjiro with noodles. Ramen. All right. Last but not least, uh, Kagaya Ubuyaki Yashiki. Yeah, Kagaya. Yeah, Kagaya Ubuyu Yashiki. Uh, GameStop exclusive. Uh, yeah. I ordered one, the Crunchyroll version, but since it was in front of me, I was like, okay, might as well. <laughs> but yeah, pretty excited about this. He's the Doc Holiday of the show, dying of consumption <laughs> or tuberculosis, I, you know, in Japan. Yeah, his face is all burnt up. Sure has to do with fighting demons and stuff. But yeah, Himetsu no Yaiba, the show is my one of my favorites. Yeah, but that's it, folks. That's all I got for this segment of Final Therapy Sessions, the uh, Funko Pop Paul of March 12, uh, 2023. I am your host, Coco Smooth. And until next video, folks, ciao. Oh, I lied. <laughs> I got a surprise for y'all. There is no chow here. Psych. Rodimus. Hot Rod. NFT. My first NFT piece. Okay. Yeah. Only limited to 1,550 pieces. Yeah. Pretty excited about Hot Rod. I'm going to try to get... Uh, side swipe next as soon as humanly possible for me and uh yeah yeah folks <laughs> you thought it was over nope <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird <coughs> it's just digital it almost looks like a fake pop but it's real it's legit folks see it says so here's the seal <laughs> and i think it was supposed to come out last year but here you go yeah for 2022 but I got it. Legendary Hot Rod. Yeah. Really cool pop. Um, very controversial figure. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people are blaming him for Optimus's death. And uh, rightfully so. But Hot Rod's still Hot Rod. He's voiced by Judd Nelson. So, yeah, he's my guy. <laughs> All right, folks. For real this time. Um, yeah. This is your host, Coco Smooth. And until next episode, folks, ciao.